Welcome to Setsu. So, what is the Buddha? A lot of people think the Buddha is a somebody or something somebody's attained. But the Buddha is not a somebody and it's not something anybody obtained. The Buddha is when beingness becomes aware of itself. And that can happen in a human body with the support of a human mind. And it can look like pretty much anything. Because it has nothing to do with the body and it has nothing to do with the mind and the personality. It is simply beingness being aware of itself inside a human. So most humans are aware of their mind, who they believe themselves to be, an ego that has a past and a future. They're aware of the world around them through their senses. But very few humans have their awareness back on beingness. Because that's an inner gaze, not an outer gaze. Even awareness on the mind is an outer gaze. And so through meditation and self-inquiry, there is a possibility of developing an inner gaze where awareness stays aware of itself. And as a result, there is a Buddha. The Buddha is not a person. It is a field of energy that creates calm and peace and beauty and can be felt. All human beings have the potential for this awakening or this enlightenment because all human beings pretty much have a mind that can support it. If we keep looking outward, if we keep looking at our mind and through our mind and the senses, the world, we miss what's there. We miss the background. We miss beingness. We miss our own true nature. This vast emptiness, or nothingness, or everythingness, whichever way you want to put it, that we actually are. It's up to you if you want to have a look. The seeker gets interested. Whether the seeker gets interested because they're trying to avoid pain, or whether they're just curious, or they may have a satori, a glimpse of the true nature and they want more, doesn't really matter. The seeker looks for their true nature. They seek truth. And the reason it's called truth is because the ego is not your true nature. It is not truth. It is something that's made up of reference points from the past projected to the future. And in fact, without imagination, wouldn't exist. Whereas who you truly are is always here. It actually never changes. It is the background that everything appears in. It is always here. You are that. So seek that, that you truly are. Instead of trying to find happiness inside an ego that's designed never to be happy because it desires things to be different all the time 
and gets attached to things and that gets frightened of losing them, look for your true nature, your Buddha nature. It is content for no reason. And it's always here. It just needs to be sought. Thank you for setting.